Hi, this is Bob from the Beancast. This is Peter from Shankman.com. And it's time for the two minute rundown for Wednesday, May 30th, 2012. Timer's running. Let's get started. Uh, Facebook, they have been criticized a lot for mobile, and we've talked about it over the you know past couple of weeks. But mobile seems to be they have a really interesting strategy. They're they're putting out a lot of these secondary apps. They're not just upgrading their existing main mothership app. They're also putting out like the photo app and, and the, the pages app. app. And and it, it makes you wonder. In addition to the things that they're doing with third party apps like Word with Friends and Withdraw yeah. something, they're trying to own the desktop. They're trying to interconnect applications on phones. Is that the real battleground for mobile is just owning the desktop through secondary if it, linking? If it is, we're going to look back on this and go, holy crap, Zuckerberg was a genius. Yeah. You know? I mean, because I mean, we're all criticizing, a, but this is this would be amazing. If this is, and the interesting thing is if they're doing this silently and they've just been, you know, they've been taking their lumps about not having a mobile strategy, but they're doing this silently without any problems... Wow. Because, uh, let's face it, I mean, running ads on your Facebook app it's is gonna never really going to solve their no. problem. It's never going to solve their problem. But if they own the linking process between apps and really do it well, mm -hmm. well, then you're just going to no have doubt. a seamless desktop. You're no never going to leave Facebook's um, system. Well, Olympics. The Olympics always lay a bitch slap when you try to infringe on their brand. But now they're doing it to guerrilla marketers. They're yeah. saying, look, you, you infringe on our brand in any way, shape, or form. You show up with a street van mm -hmm. in London, we're going we're gonna to give you some legal remedies. I have never seen... Uh, a more unwelcoming to outside advertisers group of people than the Olympics. I mean, it. But is it? But isn't it right for them? They own. Well, the it plan. is right for them. But how is it? How is it? They're gonna. You're gonna tell me that a, a guy three blocks away with a with a uh, street team, or whatever handing stuff out, is now gonna be sued? I mean, where, where's the limit? Why not all of London? Why not Europe? The Olympics are in Europe, you know. I mean, when where does that stop? Well, right. I mean, the local bodega, you know, saw, you know, selling something like here's your Olympic deal, exactly. and suddenly where getting slapped with a, a lawsuit. Yeah, I mean, you can't I worry about that. Yeah, and of course the Hopper. Everybody's talking about the Dish I'm Network's not. new Hopper, which skips uh, skips commercials. It's well, so you know, Fox is suing them. CBS yeah. is suing I them. I want to give them credit. Um, 2002 call. They want Tebow back, but you know, it's it's. <laughs> it, it, What's why is this all of a sudden freaking everyone out when TiVo did the same thing? Well, because the Hopper doesn't give people a choice, I mean, whereas the, you know the DVR and TiVo always right. give you a choice of whether you wanted to watch the commercials. Right, or not. and everyone everyone always said, "Well, we'll be fair to the advertisers and watch the commercials." <laughs> well, you know, the only uh, person who ever did that was 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 Marge Simpson when when the Simpsons got a DVR and that one. This episode. is turning into the three minute rundown, but we could go for it. We're done. Time for us to stop. I'm Bob Norp. I'm Peter Shankman. Tune in tomorrow for another two minute rundown.